Hey guys, Frozen here. Just bring you a uh, quick show of the frames per second on my uh, GTX 680 graphics card while I'm playing some Battlefield 3 team deathmatch. I'll put another video up of me playing Conquest. Um, I'm playing live, by the way, so. Oh. Uh, yep. As you can see, it handles the game extremely well. I mean, for a single graphics card, it's very impressive. I am playing on maximum settings, except I've got motion blur off. I'll show you quickly. Ultra, 4 times MSAA, motion blur off. It doesn't really have any frames per second impact, it's just it's a bit visually jarring. <laughs> How the hell am I alive? I just keep noticing people on the minimap and then I go kill them. But yeah, as you can see, my frame rate is like in the hundreds and nineties and that kind of range. These enemies are terrible. <sighs> Sorry I haven't got any sound, it's just my uh, audio is going through my headphones, so... I'm sure I saw someone. Can run away. For some reason, the lowest frames a second I get is on this loading screen thing. It's like a graphics card just decides to stop doing anything. Oh well. The reason I upgraded for my two 560 Ti's is because I didn't have enough video memory to run this game on Ultra. You need at least two gigabytes to run this game on Ultra, really. Uh, the 1.5 gig GTX 680 was okay, but I mean, as you can tell, it's using 1557 megabytes right now, and that's a team deathmatch, not even a conquest, so. To run it on Ultra properly with MSAA and everything, you need 1.5 gigabytes. I think MSAA adds at least 500 megabytes onto the total size. I think it's like adds another 50% onto the total memory usage because it has to render everything at a higher resolution and then downscale it, something along those lines. Um, I don't know anything about rendering really. Wish I did. Nope, that guy's gonna kill me if I shoot him, unless I pop up and get him by surprise. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna give you a full game here, because it's gonna take a while, so I'll cut it off in a sec. And I'll stick some Conquest gameplay on the end or something. I get a lot lower frames a second than that, but it's still above 60, so extremely playable. Wasn't sure whether I was going to stab that guy or shoot him then. This, this gun just doesn't seem to work. <laughs> um... 
back to my magnum. I've got this thing overclocked to 115 MHz plus on the core and 470 MHz on the memory, uh, which is quite a big overclock, the memory anyway. The core, I start getting uh, driver timeouts if I go too high, so I have to settle around 115, otherwise it will just poo itself when it comes to Crisis 2. I can go a bit higher in Battlefield, but I'd rather just settle with my clock which is stable in all games, except for Saints Row, which for some reason when I run it, um, I get horrible like FPS drops when it will suddenly just the power percentage as you see in the top right hand left hand corner if it's on the video I'm not sure it might be cropped out but um I'll just suddenly get a loss of power for some reason and it will start running at like 30 FPS when I was running at 90 before it's really annoying I'm not sure if it's a driver problem but it only happens when I'm overclocked uh it's not my power supply or anything I've got 600 watts which is more than the recommended amount and it's also gold efficiency, so in reality it can power a system with like 720 watts easily. And people always go overkill on PSUs. All you need is a good quality one, you don't really need a massive amount of watts for anything other than quad SLI. Uh, even 1200 watts is enough for like four GTX 580s. And 1680 uses their power than a single 580, so. I do like this generation of card a lot. I can't wait to uh, get like some kind of GPU encoder that uses that built-in GPU encoding piece of hardware. I um, can't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head. It's like NVENC or something like that. It's pretty cool though. Um, yeah, should help with my video rendering a lot if I actually decide to make videos. <laughs> Nope, I'm going to end the video there, uh, 26 of 5 at the moment, but thank you, bye. Hey, it's me again, um, playing some 64 player Conquest on Caspian Border, just because people won't be happy if I'm playing anything less than 64 player. Um, as you can see, it's in the 70s. 80s, all kinds of things. I'm not going to do very well. I'm never good at conquest. <laughs> um, relies too much on my team, and my team's always terrible. So, um, there's too many people shooting at me from everywhere. Uh, looks like we have the enemy pretty much spawn camped on this server, but I'll just try and snipe some people, but I'll probably die instantly. Oh, killed someone. Nice. don't even know what shot me then. See what I mean? Killed by the admin! Oh my god. Oh um. Apparently it's my fault that the enemy is in their base. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna wait and get shot by them then. Alright, whatever. Perfect sense. Ugh! Kick everyone from the server, why don't you? Stupid admins. Oh my god. Mentally ill. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have no idea what I'm going to be doing right now, because it seems like... It seems like all I can do is sit here and wait to be sniped. Uh, but yeah, 64 players, I'll prove it right there. Settings. Um, ultra, but with motion blur off, I'll turn it on just for the... I'll just whack it on ultra. There, pure ultra. Uh, 95, 91, 87. This is right at the end of the match as well, which is the most demanding part. This is horrible, this gun. Oh my god. This is right at the end of the match, this is when there's been the most destruction. Um, in one of the most demanding sections of the map. As you can see. Nice 90, 80 frames a second. I mean, it's so ridiculously playable, it's unbelievable. Um... Stock settings on this card, you're more likely to get around. Uh, you'll, you'll be dipping under the 60s probably. 
occasionally, but most of the time it will be well into the 70s. Um, I just like having 70, 60, 65 minimum, something like that, so it's above my refresh rate. This is horrific. <laughs> um, what? I'm oh, sorry, but if you have a server where you have 42,000 tickets you have to take off, 45,000 tickets, that is, that is game-breaking. Why would you do that? You've broken the game if you've done that on your server. I'm sorry, but no one wants to play a game for 10 hours. No one wants to do that, ever. Why would you do that? Why? Just why? This game annoys me. Stupid people annoy me. Nope. As you can tell, I'm doing really well, as I normally do in Conquest. Um, pretty much... Amazing. I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing. I honestly have no idea. We've got all the points. I'm just going to sit here and wait to get shot by a tank or something. Try and take the kind of top back. Nope, didn't even get a hit marker with a freaking missile. Oh my god, I'm gonna die horribly. I'll, I guess I'll, I'll show some gameplay of Crisis 2 as well, so I can show my frames a second. Uh, in that game as well, it's it's like a minimum of 55 on Ultra with the high texture pack and DirectX 11 and everything. Um, I see someone on the map. Yes. Really, I don't understand. 45,000 tickets to take off. What is this insanity? Makes no sense. Is anyone really ever going to see the end of a single game? I don't think they are. That's the most tickets I've ever seen. You'd think that you'd think they wouldn't allow that many tickets. It's game breaking. It really is. Oh, nice. Actually killed someone. Yep, quick dip down into the 60s there, but it's not really a problem. Um, gonna murder some peeps. Hello there, Mister. Eat my bullets. Yes. And yes, Mr. Knox and I will play with you. I shall. Hmm. This is the QBZ something. It's alright, I guess. But they rebalanced all the weapons in the latest patch, so I'm still just trying things out and trying to see what I'm good with, what I'm not good with, what I like, what I don't like, that kind of thing. The M1683 seems like a really good gun, the assault one, as well as the uh, L85A2, which is the final assignment weapon for the assault class. Um, it's very minimal, re min minimal recoil, which is all I really care about. Um, so you can shoot people at any range, really, and be more than fine. For the support weapon, it's the uh, final assignment one as well, that's the best one. Or is it the first? But it's the one with no recoil as well. <laughs> I seem to get on well with weapons that have very little recoil. Um, I'm getting surrounded here. Shot that guy. Another guy over here. Where's he flank? No, I think the tank got him. Um, Alright, I guess I'll wrap this video up in about 30 seconds. If nothing interesting happens. Um, I 
sorry about the angle of this video as well. I'm like, I propped my phone up and I'm recording it with my phone, so. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be the best quality ever, or the best picture or anything like that, but. Sure, sure, it serves its purpose. I've actually not died for a while, this is amazing. This is like a miracle. As long as I don't get shot by the snipers with the camping soft lamps on the ridge, then should be okay. Ooh, Kennel Service Staff 9. Don't mind if I do. Random! Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> don't even know what that was. It's one of the things that annoys me about this game, you don't even know where you got shot at until, like, the kill cam, I guess. But. Half the time you just get shot and don't know why. Uh, die, friendly helicopter. As you can tell, it's ridiculously smooth, and 1680 is all we will ever need to run this game on maximum settings. Uh, pretty much any game on maximum settings at a resolution of 1080p. If you have multiple monitors, or a 2560 by 1600 monitor, and you want to run this on max, then you're definitely going to need probably two 680s or two of the just two of the low range cards which are going to be coming out soon like the 670s the six, 660s if there are any they'll probably be better than a single 680 